powers control the city of Vienna. The United States, Russia, France, and England. Each of them thinks differently, talks differently, acts differently. Each of them is sure that it alone has all the answers. But there's one time of the year when they forget their differences. That's when the circus comes to town. It's hard to hold a grudge while you're laughing at the prank of a clown, or gasping at the man on the flying trapeze, or stuffing yourself with peanuts. There's magic in a circus, and it had come to town. You know, Chris, it's been, oh, maybe 20 years since I've been to one of these things. It's the penalty for growing up. You miss the simple pleasures of life. Simple pleasures of life. Walk in the park, the song of a bird, taste of a jelly apple. Come on, Chris, my treat. Two, please. The circuses in general, and jelly apples in particular. Skull. Ooh. Tony. Now, yeah, awful. They don't make them the same anymore. They're smaller, too. I can remember when I was a kid, they made them so big you couldn't take a bite out of them. There's your answer. No fun growing up, Tony. When you were a kid, did you ever want to run away and join a circus? Sure, who didn't? Calvino! Mr. Calvino! You didn't kill him! Tell me you didn't kill him! Maybe a story. Dolores didn't do it. She's innocent. Innocent. You handle the elephants? Yes. Well, get him out of there. Yes. Yes, I do. Think he's dead? All the years I'm alive, I've cared for the elephants. Never before have I seen such a thing. Who's Dolores? She would do no harm. She's gentle as a baby. I'd better go find somebody. Yeah. Who's he? Vincent Calbro. He was the best clown in the world. How come he tangled with Dolores? I... Yes? Dolores uh, wasn't feeling well. That's why she's here not in the big tent working. She wouldn't lift a finger against anybody. They must believe me. They mustn't punish her for this. You love that elephant, don't you? Yes. Vincent! Tina, I told you to get rid of that elephant. She's sick. She'll kill somebody else before she's through. Dolores wouldn't do it. Miss Andrusha, you know that. What difference does it make now? Whose fault is it? Vincent is dead. Which Vincent? He has been trampled by the elephant. I knew it would happen. There's a curse on this circus. Men die too easily here. All of you, get back to your jobs. There's nothing you can do here. Miss Andrusso, I'm Tony Forrest of Associated News. This is Christopher Storm. We'd like to talk to you about the accident, if you may. What's that to say about an accident? Mr. Forrest, I will talk to you. It's time I talked. I've been silent too long. And you have full ownership of the circus? I inherited it from my father. 
It's been in the family for four generations. But under me, it seems to be heading toward ruin. Oh, an accident doesn't mean ruin. There have been three accidents, Mr. Stone. Three? Three very plausible accidents. But then you don't believe they're accidents. Three men have died. Three men that I was going to marry. Now, there's a coincidence for you. Oh, now, Tony, if you're going to dream up a scare headline, forget it. You'll fold this place up like a Murphy bed. But it's a story, Chris. That's my job. There are a lot of people who are depending on this for their jobs. You print that, and they won't have any. There's one detail you've overlooked. Murder. Who said anything about murder? Does anyone here think it isn't? The nays have it. All right, Tony. We'll peek under a few tents, see what we can find. Maybe we'll come up with a real story. You mean hold the story back and dig for the killer? Mm-hmm. You got any ideas? Not yet. But I'll try. I don't know what to say. You must know what this means, both of you. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Tony? Bye. Bye. Remember an hour ago when you asked me the very same question? The answer hasn't changed either. I know. He went to a circus. I thought that in one hour you made a ramped up a better one than that. Look, miss. That's what he told me. When Mr. Storm tells me something, I believe it. Well, I don't. We made an appointment for 3.30. It's almost 5 o'clock now. Nobody's asking you to wait. Just leave a message, any kind of message you want. I'll be glad to give it to him. You're too young to listen to what I have to say. Very well. Write it down. Cabal it. Send it by semaphore. Morse code. Huh. Where have you been? I've been to the circus. You are both liars. Give me a cup of coffee, Dodo. One thing was obvious. Whoever planned the accidents didn't want Miss Andruso to walk down the long middle aisle. Motive? Jealousy. Or maybe plain everyday greed. The one who married Tina Andruso would automatically become half-owner of a flourishing circus. So the guy, whoever he was, would have to wear two hats. One is a murderer. Two is a lover. So far, so good. One annoying question remained unanswered. The name of the man so desperate to marry Tina that he would stop at nothing. Could be the strong man, the juggler, the sword swallower, the tuba player. A circus is full of strange, wonderful, and sometimes crazy people. Panda. Oh, Mr. Storm. Shh. Be quiet. Yes, Mr. Storm. What is it? Panda, I'm trying to help Miss Andruso, but I need help. Just ask me. Anything in my power I will do. All I want is information. Of all the people who work in the circus, who really wants to marry Miss Andruso? Everybody would like to marry her. She's a good woman. Everybody loves her. I don't mean that. Can you think of one or two people in particular? Yes, there are three. Who are they? Alfredo Varga, the title walker. And uh, Rick Smoller, he's in charge of the payroll. And uh, Toto, the knife thrower. Can you think of any one of them who would commit murder? Ask me of elephants and I will judge. But I cannot look into the souls of men. If I see a man killed, then I can call him a murderer. I think you're right, Panda. That's what we have to do. Give the killer another chance.
wasn't the chance I meant for the killer to have. But this tussle cleared up any doubts that I may have had about the other accidents. I couldn't see who was in that truck, but I was sure of one thing. It wasn't Dolores, the elephant. By morning, I had a plan to bring the circus killer into the open. It started with Panda's remark about having to see a killer in action before you could tag him. It gelled from there. The plan wasn't going to be easy. It called for a gamble, a big gamble. The stakes were a human life. The first step was to get hold of Tony. More coffee, Mr. Forreston? No, thanks, Dodo. Fifty cups is my limit. Anything else I can do? The body of Christopher Storm would be nice. Here comes the body now. Hi, Dodo. Good morning, Mr. Storm. Hi, Tony. I almost went under from caffeine poisoning waiting for you. I was out late with an elephant trainer last night. You bring home some ideas. I think so. How would you like to announce your engagement? What did you say? I said, how would you like to announce your engagement? I'd like to keep it a secret, even from myself. Why don't you announce yours? The story depends on it. I could throw myself into the Danube and make a story, but I wouldn't do it. You're not following me. I'm at the altar, it seems. And that's already too far. I remember what Voltaire said. Marriage is a long meal with dessert at the beginning. I'm not talking about marriage. Merely your announcement. Just an announcement. Tina, you want a clay pigeon? Now you're following me. We're being rather casual with my life, don't you think? I bet you we'd have the killer by morning. Make quite a yarn. Where do you come in? Floating defense. It's a sucker play, Tony. You lure him out and I hit him. Chris. Mm hmm? Don't miss. Come on. I gotta get down to the circus and set this up with Tina. Fiancé number four. By the time we reached the circus, Tony was eager to try the stunt. When his nose smelled a good story, his neck got no consideration. It was up to me to block any attempts on his life. Tina, at first, was dubious. She didn't mind the part about pretending to get married. But she didn't want to put our lives in danger. Tony finally convinced her by making a little speech about justice coming above personal risk. <laughs> what he really meant was a story at all costs. Okay. I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Forrest. Why don't you call him Tony? After all, you are engaged. Okay. Tony. And I'd better call you darling now and then so that people will believe us. I don't mind, Tina. Everything clear? I understand what we're to do. Good. Let's go. Okay. This is kind of nice, eh? of the circus, I have a happy announcement to make. Tomorrow, Mr. Tony Forrest is going to join us as my husband. Oh. <laughs> I've known Tony for years, and I know that you'll all learn to love him as I do. So let's all welcome Tony to the new Andrusu Forrest Circus. Oh. Oh. May you be very happy, my dear children. Congratulations, Mr. Forrest. You are like a man, but uh, my heart is broken. Thank you very much. You happy? Panda. Who is laughing, boy? Tutu, the knife thrower. Well, how 
was my performance. You ever think of being an actor? No. Wise decision. Oh, I wasn't that bad. Uh, well, you agree. At least you, you convinced the right people. Take a chance, mister. Yeah. Okay, now, let you go. Expected there was no trouble during the rest of the day. But when night came, even the gay crowds outside couldn't lighten the load of tension. It pressed down on Tina's trailer. The killer, if it were Toto or anybody else, had only tonight to strike. I have to go now. My act starts in a few minutes. Thank you. Do take care of yourself, darling. Oh, you take it easy. Okay. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know, there's something about her that's different from other women. Really? What? No, really. All right, forget about her. What's your plan? Do I just sit around and wait for the trailer to blow up? That's correct. You just stay here and wait. Don't leave the trailer for any reason. Oh. Hey, you may need that. Who is it? It is I, Fonda. Be with you in a minute. Where are you going? Floating the fence, remember? I was told you wanted to see me. That's right. Look, Panda, I want you to keep a careful eye on that trailer. If anyone comes outside of Miss Andruso or myself, warn Mr. Forrest immediately. Have you got that? Yes, sir. You can depend Step on right me. right up, ladies yes. and gentlemen, and see Toto, the world's greatest knife drawer. Watch him hurl those gleaming blades past this beautiful maiden. Watch him cheat death, not by a decimeter, not by a centimeter, but by a millimeter. Step right in, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be bashful. The show is about to begin. What you see on the outside is nothing to what you see on the inside. You will see the greatest thrill for one shilling, one thin shilling, one tenth part of a thin shilling piece. Come right in, ladies and gentlemen, and watch the beautiful maiden. Quite an act you do. Thank you. It's 
quite a trick, that wind-up with the blindfold. It is not a trick. Amazing. Mr. Storm, you did not come here to compliment me. What do you want? I noticed you didn't join the happy throng when Miss Andrusso announced her engagement to my friend. So, if I was not joyous. Aren't you pleased to see Miss Andrusso about to be happily married? He is welcome to her, if that is what you mean. And half the circus, too? That he does not deserve. He is an outsider. But there were others who were insiders. Or maybe everybody's an outsider except you. Maybe they are. Wonderful. Uh, no, no, I, you've got the wrong person. I didn't do anything. Oh, don't be silly, Tony. You were a hero. How brave you were, just sitting there waiting, not knowing what would happen. Oh, mere bagatelle. Well, I've got to go. I just remember something that Voltaire said. No, 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 no. You two have a lot to say to each other. I'll go. Oh, Chris. Uh, don't say it too late. Night. Well, Tony really did a brave thing, huh? And Tina was really a nice girl. Maybe my plan would last longer than I had planned. 